What's up? Just had a little technical fumble with my uh, camera there, but uh, I think I got it straightened out now. So, all right. So today I'm gonna do a quick review. Um, some other goodies uh, that I got recently. So we take a look at that. We got the piece and slingshots, finger slingshots. These are very cool. It's leather, rubber. That's it. I mean. Your, your fingers go in there, ball goes in there. It's really simple, really easy. Um, you know, I'm not the type of guy to ever bash a slingshot. Uh, I'll never turn one down. If you got one, I'll shoot it. Uh, I don't care, wrist rockets, whatever. And obviously I have preferences, just like everybody else does. This wouldn't be my preference, honestly. It's not something I would do. It's very similar to frameless shooting, which I also will dabble in from time to time. But you can't tell me that you got a slingshot and I won't have fun shooting it. Um, I'm going to be shooting at this catch box that I made very recently. There's a little can in there. Um, and kind of give you a play-by-play -play of how I feel as I'm shooting. I think that the design is very cool. It makes frameless shooting uh, a lot easier. A lot easier than I see with other, with other frameless styles. And... Uh, they come in a variety of colors, so I'm shooting the green one today, but there's a few other colors as well. So you got black, yellow, red. Um, I'm not other, not even sure what other colors they come in. You should shoot a quarter inch steel out of this. But today I'm going to be shooting some clay balls, and these have about the same mass as a quarter inch steel. They're just a little bit bigger around, and a quarter inch will fit fine in this pouch, but it's a little bit big. The pouch is a little bit big. But the, you can see the clay ammo fits in there way better, so... That's what I'm gonna go with today. So you got them like that. Just slip your thumb around one, your forefinger around the other, and fire away. So you're supposed to shoot like this in an L. Because I'm a little bit more used to frameless shooting, I'm actually gonna turn my fingers inward a little bit like this, okay? This is not how you're supposed to shoot it. You're supposed to shoot it like that. So, for safety reasons, that's what probably what you should do. Ooh, that was pretty close. Came off my thumb though. So I did see that some people were getting like 250 feet per second with these. I haven't cronied them. But the flight is pretty straight. So I can imagine that they're I can imagine they're getting about that. About that. About definitely two hundred. There it is, yes. Just like any slingshot, you gotta side it in a little bit. Uh, I could have picked any slingshot out of my collection and missed the first few shots with it, because you need to know where you're shooting, but it's fun, these are pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But frameless shooting isn't my thing. Uh, I said this before, it's just not something that I enjoy that much. I'll shoot if that's what I got, but um, I'm not into the frameless thing. If you've ever watched my channel before, you'll also know that I I do not like tubes very much at all. In fact, uh, I don't know. Tubes are they're the the draw weight is usually heavy for the speed that you're getting from the projectile. Um, these have a decent draw weight to them. I again didn't measure, but I can assume that these are you know at least 12 pounds or so. They're not super bad. Uh, tubes you also can't customize these at all. Tubes are just what they are. They're just going to be the length, and that's it. So there's really no customization options with them. Um, but I did find a quick solution for the whole frameless thing. My descender. Because they have the rubber um, the rubber tubing over the forks, you can actually just slip these on like that. And uh, tighten them down. And then it's kind of like a tabbed shooter. It's all like an OTT kind of tab shooter, I guess.
Yeah. Oh, see, I have them on there backwards. The latex wants to twist on me. See, now shooting like this, I can get behind that. There we go. Shot a little high on that one. These are actually pretty fun for shooting around in the backyard. <laughs> These clay ammos curve a little bit too. It's so, it's definitely something I would shoot and have fun with, and and um, you know go out to the go out to the woods and fire around some quarter inch steel or some clay ammo. But uh, all in all, I would say that these typically aren't something that suits my style. So if you're a frameless shooter, pick pick some of these up because I bet you'd have a lot of fun with these. Um, one other suggestion, the final thing, the only other thing that I don't really like about the design is there's no center hole in the pouch, and I I love the center hole in the pouch. I, I don't know how many slingshots I've ever shot without one. So um, center, a center hole in the pouch would be way nicer, and that way you could be sure that you were getting them even because it's impossible to tell um, unless you're really staring it down. But that's it. You can get a descender like that, cut it up, put some rubber on it, and these will fit great on that if you don't want to shoot them frameless. Otherwise, yeah, if you're a frameless shooter, I would bet you would like these. So, yeah, that's how, that's what I think. That's my little review on these. As a bonus, I got something else for you. So the other thing I got to show you guys is some slingshots that I traded um, with Cajun Catapults. Uh, I found them on Facebook. Actually, a uh, really super nice guy sent me a bunch of these little um, plywood uh, slingshots, and I wanted to do a quick review of them. So the first one, <laughs> I just grabbed a spider out of midair. Uh, the first one's this guy, and I'm assuming that we're supposed to use the ocularis plugs in there. Well, I only recently bought an Axiom ocularis uh, when I was actually at the East Coast tournament. I grabbed one. So I never had an ocularis slingshot before, and I haven't had a chance to put plugs in this yet. But and I can tell you from the way that this holds in my hand um, that it's actually pretty nice. Um, this actually reminds me of the sort of craftsmanship that I had when, about two years ago, about a year and a half or so ago, on my slingshots. It looks like something I would have built a couple years back and uh i think that they're definitely you know decent quality slingshot the plywood's really nice but i think uh i think he's come along very well in his making ability looks like a little ppsg uh or not a ppsg a pocket poacher ttf again i'm not a ttf shooter it's not my style it's not something I go out and look for, um, but I think that these are actually pretty nice. The tips are pretty good and pretty even. Got a nice wide, I can't remember what the design of this one's called, but uh, got a nice wide TTF frame here. And actually, I have pretty big hands and this fits my hands really well, but uh, these fork tips are really wide. I would have a lot of trouble shooting TTF because of how wide that one is. But one here that's laminated, it's like some aluminum or something. It's a little bit more narrow on the TTF. Now this one I really like. That is my style. Nice slim um, profile on the on the uh, on the forks there. This one I can shoot pretty well. Um, got a little pinky hole. I really like the pinky hole. Nice wide fork tips for like heavier bands. Um, yeah, that one. I can shoot really well. I really like this one. Um, and then the last one here is this guy. And again, I can't remember the name of this slingshot, but uh, I'll probably remember it as soon as I turn the camera off, honestly. But he's got even the aiming dimps on this one. And 
yeah, I can shoot this one really well too. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a band on this and then I'll shoot it for you. All right, so I got him banded up. A little simple shot, I think this is 0 0.6. TTF style, it's not my style, but hopefully you guys can see the can in the catch box. I actually put a new can up there just now so that I could, uh, so that I could, you'll know if I hit it or not. Well, let's try it out. Ooh, just low, just low. There we go. Pink. Boom. I think TTF is a much easier way for people to learn how to shoot than uh, going straight to OTT. Although I definitely prefer OTT. Boom. Boom. Could stand here and hit that can all day with this thing. Fork gap. Fork gap is exactly where I like it on a TTF frame. No hand slap whatsoever. I could shoot much heavier bands out of this thing if I wanted to, um, just because you're not going to get the, the hand slap. Um, but yeah, excellent frame. Uh, I, I would say I would give this probably an 8 out of 10 as far as craftsmanship goes. You can see that there's definitely spots where he could clean it up a little bit. But uh, the idea is there and the concept's there. It's really just about finishing it, and that's it. Otherwise, I really like this one, and uh, I like the other one too as well. These are both my favorite ones that came out of there. That one's a little bit more wide than this one, but uh, yeah. Go check him out. He's on Facebook, Cajun Catapults. Go find him, make a trade, buy something. Absolutely. Um, that's all I have for today. So, uh, yeah, I guess thanks for watching.